Welcome to Introduction to Flask. This is a video series that will take you from not knowing anything about Flask to building a real working application. Our application is going to be relatively simple, but it does demonstrate quite a few concepts that you would use in more significant Flask apps. So if you're interested in taking this video course, you should know Python already, and you should know a little bit of HTML and a little bit of knowledge of SQL would be nice. You should also have some kind of database driver installed on your local machine. When you get to the database section of this course, uh, I'm using MySQL, but you can use any database that you like. Just know that whatever database you choose to use, you have to have the Python library set up for it. I didn't have time to cover each individual database, but just know that if you're using, for instance, MySQL, you'll need to have MySQL Python set up. Um, and the same for any other database that you choose to use. So before we get into the course, uh, let me just show you what we'll be building. This is a simple guest book. Um, guest books were popular back in the 90s, and it allowed users to post a message that would be seen by everyone that visited, visited the site. But I don't know what happens to guest books because I never see them anymore. So I thought I'd bring a guest book back and we can actually create a guest book application. So here we see some comments from users, and I'll add a comment here. And let's say the name is Giannis. And hey, I love your site. So this will be a comment, assign it. And then we see at the bottom, Giannis's uh, comment was posted here. So this is exactly the application we're going to make in this video series. So if you're ready, let's get started with an introduction to Flask.